Hey, it's Steve, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll take a look at a wind simulator that I made for my sim racing rig. I'll go over what parts I used to build this, how I set it all up, and a demo of it in action. Done, now let's get in there. This wind simulator is made up of two PC fans, an Arduino Uno, a cold air induction flexible hose, a 12 volt 1.5 amp power supply, a DC jack, and two three pin fan headers. The parts I 3D printed were a small case for the Arduino board, a pair of 120mm to 76mm PC fan adapters, a pair of cold air intake attachment spouts, and luckily the previous owner of my Fnatic Club Sport gear gifted me the fan mounting plates he previously used to attach the cold air intake hose to the Fnatic wheelbase. There are a few ways you can control and power the fans, and most online guides suggest getting a pair of high-powered, high-flow server-grade fans. This, however, requires a DC motor controller board capable of high power output and a power adapter capable of powering both the board and the fans. This can add additional cost and components required, and in my testing with an L298N controller board, didn't give very accurate RPM control. So, in the end, I found the best solution was paying a little extra for some Noctura high flow pulse width modulation fans. They're quieter, no motor controller board is needed, and you get much finer control of the fans RPMs ranging from 0 to 100%. The Noctura fans are powered directly from the 12 volt power supply. The Arduino board is powered by the USB to PC cable. And the fans are controlled using the dedicated pulse width modulation pins on the Arduino. I programmed the Arduino using the selection of pre-made sketches in SimHub and specifically used the ShakeIt PWM fans component. For my Arduino Uno, I used the ground pin and pins 10 and 9 for the pulse width modulation output. After flashing the sketch to the Arduino, SimHub recognized the USB device as having two fan outputs. I then wired the positive and negative terminals from the 12 volt DC jack in parallel to each fan header. I hot glued these to the Arduino board and mounted it into its 3D printed case. I designed the case so that it was a press fit design for the board which reduced the number of screws needed. I mounted the board under my wheelbase and connected the fans, hosing and faceplate mounts. The end result is fantastic, I've had several friends try the wind simulator out while racing in my sim rig, and one even asked me whether it was a pre-made kit. Finally, here is a quick demo of the fans in action. By the way, I've left all the 3D models I made or referenced in the description below and if this video was useful or has inspired you to go out to mod your sim rig, then feel free to hit me a like. Also coming up next week, I'll cover my working from home slash sim racing room makeover, which has been sorely needed, so stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video.